friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kiki. In today's video, we're going to be doing a bookshelf reorganization slash updated book tour video. I have been wanting to do this for over a week now. It's been a very overwhelming thought process though because I have so many books on my shelf. I'm now ready. It took me a bit, but I'm here. I'm in the mood to do it. I'm excited. I have an idea of how I wanna reorganize these shelves. I'm just gonna go in and pull everything down to start with and then put it all back in what I hope is a way that I love. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit like and don't forget to subscribe as well. Let's get stuck into it. You really don't know how many books you have until you have them all piled up on the floor. Like, there's so many books there. That's not even like my shelves aren't even empty. Like I still have quite a few books down the bottom here. I'm literally just going to move those shelves up. So I'm not going to pile them on the floor. I don't know what to do though. I don't know if I want to do an L Kennedy shelf or a hockey romance shelf. I am a bit torn here. If I do a hockey romance shelf, then my college romance shelf is going to dwindle a lot. And then if I do an L Kennedy shelf, Am I going to have to get rid of my Penelope Douglas shelf? Because, or oh, maybe not. I don't know. I'm just going to start putting things back and we're going to see what happens. Okay, so this is what I've done so far. I have moved my Sarah J Maz shelf down to the middle. I cannot wait to get dust jackets for the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I have moved all my old school fantasy and newer fantasy up to the top there. I've put my Penelope Douglas shelf here. I have lent out my birthday girl paperback to a friend, which I know is crazy, but I trust her. I'll get it back soon. This is so much more harder than what it seems. I'm so indecisive. I don't know what I want to do, friends. I don't know what I want on what shelf. This is really hard. <laughs> My god that was a task friends I think I'm happy with how I've set it out I think it took me a while I was switching and changing shelves a bit but I think I'm good so this is what my shelves look like now oh my god they're a lot more full than what they were in my last bookshelf tour that I did Earlier I said I had my Sarah J Maz shelf down on this one, but I've changed that. She's now on the second shelf here. I still have all my fantasy up the top here. I've got my A Court of Thorns and Roses paperback here. My Harry Potter and of course my Twilight series from a way back when. Like I was 16 when I read those books. Look at how damaged and well read they are. Talk about nostalgia. So underneath my fantasy shelves there I have then gone ahead and done a romance shelf. This shelf will change in time. I've got like your billionaires here. I have some Lucy score here because she just doesn't fit down on this shelf. <laughs> I have Pucking Around, a Den of Vipers, which 
and Darling Venom actually. I don't feel like they belong on this shelf here, but until I get more in that genre and maybe more billionaire romances, they're just going to stick together in a standard romance shelf. I'm hoping to have enough billionaire romances where the whole shelf is full of them. I've got my Penelope Douglas shelf, my Colleen Hoover shelf didn't change. Underneath Coho, I have my college romance shelf. I did want to split up my L. Kennedy books here and give her her own shelf as I have her prep series down here and I have her good girl complex over here. Yes, I am that weird person that can split my authors up, but I cannot split my genres up. So for now, she is staying on my college slash high school romance shelf. Honestly, this is my favorite shelf. At some point, I would love to have a hockey romance shelf and a Megan Brandy shelf when I finally have all her books. Moving over here, I have my Scarlet St. Clair shelf. I love her. And on this side, I have another romance shelf. All my Tessa Bailey, Christina Lauren, Emily Henry. This is like my, I wouldn't call it a rom-com shelf anymore because like I've got a thousand boy kisses there and that is not a rom-com. But it's definitely more of like my lighter romances, whereas that is more of like your billionaire heavy type romance, I guess you could say. I really don't know how you want to subgenre them. They're both romance shelves. Um, I have here a thriller shelf. Not very big. I've only just started reading thriller this year, so hopefully I'll fill that up sooner rather than later. I have my From Blood and Ash series, which as soon as that series is complete, that shelf will hopefully look like my Sarah J Maz shelf. <laughs> and then I've got my Bridge Kingdom books here, which again, when that series is finished, this is kind of just an empty shelf for now. I have all my annotating things here. How cute is this? My husband got me this for our 10 year anniversary, which falls the day before Valentine's Day. So that was kind of a bit of a sweet slash funny thing he did. Down here we have all your self-help memoirs. This shelf here is just my whatever shelf. Honestly, I don't really care about this shelf. It's just where books that I don't like get thrown there. I don't know what I'll do with that shelf one day. More of my husband's books. And then those two shelves down there are just not really shelves to be talked about. They're my shelves. That is my bookshelf mini update reorganization for you all friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit like if you have any questions at all. Drop a comment below. I am more than happy to answer them or just to have a general chit chat about books. I'll see you all in the next video friends.